Obasoge. I'm here to present the work of a genius. An award-winning film producer and director, Isi Oro Tokumbo Jaboro. Jaboro is a Canada-based Nigerian man who changed the face of the cinema in Canada. Over these years, he has exhibited the true potential of a genius in the film industry because the movie titled Seven Dreams, produced and directed by Jaboro in 2015, won 23 awards worldwide. And this year, he also won the Best Accolade Award for African-American Films. As a film producer and director, he saw a gap in the cinema here in Canada and he founded the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival to fill this gap. While in 2017, he also founded the True Safe Distribution, which focuses on cinema distribution of black films from Nollywood, Gollywood, Africa, and the Caribbean. So a few weeks ago, I sat down with him in the studio to interview him about his work. Listen to what he has to say. When did you go into fame? Well, I would say the journey started from back home in Nigeria when I was a little boy. Yeah. I have always had interest in film, you know. Uh, at one time I went for an audition uh, where you had some of these Nollywood um, actors, a lot of them. Yeah. I think I can remember uh, Ram Sinoa, he was yeah. young then, and a few other ones, you know. Um, but uh, I didn't go into it at that time. I later went to the University of Ibadan, mm -hmm. where I went to study mathematics. Yeah. Um, and then found myself in Canada, yeah. where I attended the Toronto Film School. And when I was going for a tour, mm -hmm. and um, it was at that point, I realized that I really wasn't into uh, going into acting per se, yeah. but rather I wanted to be able to be in position to tell stories, you understand me, yeah. the way they should be told, you yeah. know. Um, so that's where I realized that I wanted to be a director yeah. and a producer. Wow. But writing came naturally, because in, in, uh, the good thing about uh, the Toronto Film School is yeah. that we, had, uh, we were able to study every other aspect of film. You okay, know, writing films as well. Scre screenplay writing, yeah. editing, video editing, really? sound, mm -hmm. the, the cinematography, yeah, cool. uh, you can name it. We, we were yeah. taught every single aspect of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And we even, um, we even uh, took a, a course uh, uh, working with actors where mm -hmm. you have to put yourself in the position of the actors. Mm -hmm. And I, I, at that time, mm -hmm. I thought that course was kind of a waste of my time. I'm not interested in acting, so why am I doing this? But years after, mm. I come to realize that yeah. that course was helpful yes. because I understood what it meant, what it felt like when you are in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. the feeling, no matter how confident you are, mm. before you got in front of the camera, the moment you get in front of the camera, mm. everything just sinks. You know, so I, I, I know the feeling. So whenever I'm on set uh, mm. and I'm working with an actor, mm. I understand what the actor supposed to is, f is feeling. Mm. I understand the, the mm. feeling the actor is going through. Mm. So I try, I find in my own way, I try to calm the actor down and try to make them, give them some confidence, you yes. understand me, and then let them do their thing, you know. Uh, so that's uh, yeah. So that's that's my journey in uh, the filmmaking. How many films have you directed, and what is your first very film in Canada? Well, uh, I've done a few short films. Uh, I did uh, Ten Minutes, which uh, is a short film I did it in school as part of my final year project. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, from th for those who have seen Ten Minutes, could mm. probably get an idea of what my work will look it like because like, yeah. it's, uh, it's there you understand mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. then i did uh two to tango uh where it was co-produced co-written by myself and uh, a friend melissa lake mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and uh, from there i worked with other other projects mm -hmm. from other producers mm -hmm. and uh, my actual first feature film mm -hmm. uh saving dreams which uh i wrote I uh, direct and produce. You wrote the movie? Yeah, I wrote Seven Dreams in and directed 2008, it? I believe, yeah. 
I wrote Saving Dreams. So the first script I wrote, the first feature film I wrote is a horror movie which I have not shot yet, mm -hmm. J. Arrow's Hatchet, mm -hmm. that I wrote in 2007. Mm -hmm. Then, but Saving Dreams, I wrote it in 2008, and I finally got to shoot it. Uh, 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 it took it into production in 2015. From award winning producer Isioro Togunbo Jaboro. I want to meet your lover? Comes the heartbreaking story of love, stardom, and seduction. I think I heard you sing. It's impossible, I don't sing anymore. A multi-award-winning drama based on real-life events. You were made for it was with the help of my wife, oh, Tori good. Victoria. She's an mm. amazing lady, you know. Oh. Uh, I couldn't have done it without her, you know. So we sat down and mm. said, okay, you know what, let's do this. And 2015, we mm. did um, We Shot Seven Dreams. Seven dreams. It took me eight years from it's when I wrote it to when I shot it, you know. And, and the yeah. movie has won how many awards? Well, Seven Dreams have uh, <laughs> gone to win uh, about 22 awards globally, and this includes uh, um, but my actors, my four lead actors, uh, mm -hmm. they all won, they are all award winners. Yeah. Um, also, my uh, director of photography, mm -hmm. the cinematographer, okay. recently won an award. For the film? For the film. Uh, editing won an award. Uh, these are from different festivals, mm -hmm. different awards. Uh, sound mm -hmm. uh, won an award. So you have, the, you have award from different segments of, the, of, the, of, the, of, uh, of the, movie. the movie. The movie itself won an award, you know. I won an award for the director and I and also from a different award at the African Entertainment Award I won for best producer. Mm. In Maryland I won for best director, you know. And so, so yeah, so the Are you journey. motivated to produce another film like that? I have done a second feature which is Rubbles of Love. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a working title. Okay. Um, um I would say. Uh, Who wrote the uh, Rumbles of Love? Rumbles of Love is, uh, is it was co-written. By. It's co-written. It's based on a book. Uh, yeah. Okay, based on a book. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's co-written, uh, and it's um, it's it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's a good movie, and I, from the experience I got doing Saving Dreams, mm -hmm. I put it mm -hmm. into Rumbles of Love. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, and. It, it, it came out looking good, you know. It's Rubbles of Love, Jackie Appiah, directed by Sioro Tsukumbo Jaboro, coming soon. When will it be available in the cinema? It, we we'll have to wait for a little bit, you know, um, because it's in post-production. Mm. I don't rush my project, you okay. know. You are the founder of Toronto International Film Festival. So what motivated you to uh, found this organization in Canada? Well, um, I believe in diversity. Um, I'm also a believer in Nollywood. Uh, Nollywood is my background. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's more of a, a Nigerian um, organized film organization. Uh, we, that's where it started from. But Nollywood is beyond just Nigeria. Nollywood is Africa. Yeah. Nollywood is black. Okay. You understand me? You know. So anybody from Africa, anybody from uh, a black filmmaker can uh, are well, you're welcome to identify themselves as Nollywood filmmaker. You in, understand? In me? Canada, anywhere you are in uh, in the in diaspora, the you okay. know. Um, I thought it was about time mm. we give we we we, we, we make a platform where mm. our culture can be showcased, okay. you know. So, which was what uh, motivated me mm. to start up the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. Mm. Now I want to say I had this in planning yeah. way before Saving Dreams was mm. actually shot. Yeah. 
but because I had to focus on trying to get saving dreams out there mm -hmm. and I was doing too many things at the same time but one day I, I came across a video by Tyler, Tyler Perry mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a filmmaker who I admire yeah. you yeah. know Tyler he Perry. talked about briefly about his story and how you must narrow your focus that people tend to want to do too many things at the same time yeah you know so when i watched that video i put a pause on the film festival the uh, toronto international Film festival at that time yeah. i said okay i have seven dreams it's it's gone far let me focus on this finish this and i go to the oh, next one level, yeah. so that's where so at this point at this time while i was i had seven dreams um the, the festival on pause yeah. And the news came that uh, the Tro uh, Toronto International Film Festival, Thief, mm -hmm. Thief yeah. was bringing Nollywood in their city to city program to oh. Toronto. Okay. And that was like, that was a blessing because yeah. for Thief to be bringing Nollywood here, mm. and this was what, something I was already planning. It was with your it, dream. Yeah, it worked. And, you know, it's like, okay, this is going to create your exposure because, I mean, Thief is big, you understand me, you know. So and so, sh then October first, that which is a few, a few more, a couple of months after, yeah. Tiff brought uh, okay. Nollywood here. And then I, sta I st uh, started a platform yeah. for submission into the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival, October first, two thousand and sixteen. Yes. So two thousand and seventeen, October nineteenth and twentieth, oh. we had our first edition, and we had people. Yeah come in from all over you know we had films from all over we have film from nollywood mm -hmm. uh we have f f bollywood category yes, we have film from asia mm -hmm. uh japan mm -hmm. south korea mm -hmm. we have film from the from europe from the united states mm -hmm. and so we have different categories different um uh areas yeah. in film you understand it's like region by region region yes mm -hmm. just to give opportunity to everybody the, yeah. based on their strength mm -hmm. you know yeah, so these are so we are going to our second edition, and we have uh, we have uh, we have about or uh, uh, if not more than a hundred films submitted already, and the submission is still on. Okay. Yeah. So if you submit the film, they will have to screen it. In, yes, when you submit the, the film, it goes through a process. Uh, mm -hmm. We now get go through the judging process mm -hmm. internally to get the selection official selection. So okay. now those films that will be selected for oh, to compete yes. in the festival oh, okay. will be selected and those that didn't make it make will it not, you know, good. sorry, they can try again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that you have to pick the best of the oh, best. best, you know. Then once we get this official selection, mm -hmm. then it goes through another, another judging process where they have mm -hmm. to pick the winners. So oh, okay. like we did last year, we mm -hmm. had... Um, judges spread across from Canada, from mm. US, from Europe, from Asia, from Nigeria. Mm. We have them in, uh, come to the platform. They didn't know what they were judging, you know. Okay. And then we they got the result came in. Then we got the winners from different categories. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, which any Nigerian movie had won the award? In this? Um, Alter Ego um, won. I believe they got the one for award. Omotola uh, is one of the lead actress there. She oh. won an award too. She's amazing. She's actress. amazing. Oh, and and she's I, my favorite. And I was I was surprised though because mm. uh, the films were judged um, mm. by international people. You understand me? Oh, I try yeah. not to make. There's mm. no bias in it, mm, you know. It is, but yeah. when the result came, mm. uh, so Alter Ego won for award. Mm. Potato Potato mm -hmm. is a movie that is a Nollywood and Ghanaian movie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, people from Ghana, Ghana made the movie. It's a beautiful movie. Mm -hmm. uh, they won four awards as well. Uh, Osio KJ uh, from Nigeria is a Nollywood actor. And Jocelyn mm -hmm. Dumas, mm -hmm. uh, she's a Ghanaian actress and show, uh, host. Mm -hmm. She won an award as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe we had uh, Alias Wish. It's a short film. Mm -hmm. uh, they won an award as well. And um, there are some other uh, Nollywood films yes. there, you know, that mm. won an award. Yeah. And you had Bollywood movie, The Buddhist Monk. Uh, Bollywood is from uh, Asia. 
from yeah, India. From India, yeah. Indian, yeah. Yeah, they want they want the producer, I yeah. think the producer or director is from uh, he lives based in Norway. Oh, and okay. he he the movie won an award too yeah. and when I I met I was I had the privilege of meeting the the maker of the film yeah. and when he talked about his story that uh he wrote that script 40 years ago. Oh. How we that was you amazing, see. you know. See. So it's it's we I was I was I felt it, you know. And th this is the beauty of mm. what I do. Mm. Uh, you get to meet people from all walks of life, wonderful people from different places, different culture, you know. And uh, it's 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 very encouraging. Uh, very, uh, yeah. very very. And I believe nice. diversity. I believe in diversity. You can see that in my work, in my own personal mm. project, also in the festival that we mm. are doing and. In the distribution that mm -hmm. you'll be talking about, mm -hmm. uh, it's all about diversity, mm -hmm. bringing diversity. different culture together. together. So when we come together, we help each other together. regardless. Mm -hmm. Don't put nobody down. down. Yeah. Work with each other, uplift one another. I am the founder and the president and CEO of True State Production and Motion Picture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's an independent production company that focuses on creating fi uh, films. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, like I said, we yeah, we started with Saving Dreams. We've done uh, Robbers of Love. Mm -hmm. We have uh, J. Arrows Hatchet coming up. It's in post production. We have it's in is is one of our future projects. I mean, yeah. uh, we have uh, the code game. Uh, it's already a future project. Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch, a whole list of so other projects. Project you know, uh, and it's a, it's an incorporated uh, organization. You know, incorporated here in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about the distribution? The Truce uh, distribution. What yeah, Truce distribution is a different body of its own. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Truce Distribution came about um, after I shot Saving Dreams and um, during Thief when they brought uh, Nollywood to Canada yeah. and I had some of these uh, Nollywood uh, producers, yeah. they, they approached me and like, uh, what market do we have here for our films? And yeah. I was like, okay, there's really no market here for yeah. Nollywood films, you know? And it did not really get in, uh, get, uh, get into me yet at that time because I just did the premiere for Saving Dreams as well, mm. you know. But um, it was when I, because Saving Dreams was released in cinemas in Nigeria, okay. was released in View Cinemas in the UK, but I realized I could not release Saving Dreams here in Canada, which is where I'm, my home, where I'm based. What? Because uh, the cinemas here don't believe in independent films. They believe oh, in Hollywood, okay. uh, big uh, mm. uh, uh, big studio films, okay. you know. How did you so, change the system then? So what I did was mm. to put on my thinking hat. How do I make this work? Exactly. You know, then I approach um, uh, uh, this uh, a cinema, Albion Cinema. They mm. operate Albion Cinema, York Cinema, Woodside Cinema. Mm. You know, so I uh, wrote down a proposal, a portfolio, and I give, uh, put uh, everything that mm. uh, where we should, mm. um, they should give opportunity to bring in um, Nollywood films, black films mm -hmm. here in Canada. Okay. And um, they checked it out and they found that uh, they saw what I was doing, the things I was doing. Mm. I'm a filmmaker, mm. I'm running a film festival mm. and all this are uh, going on effectively and all that stuff. They said, okay, they're going to give it a shot, you know. So that's how we started. But um, as we, we released uh, two films, we released The Wedding Party 2, mm. uh, which is a big project, and then we released A Soy. <laughs> So I went back to them, I said, you know what, I, I think we should give opportunity to independent film because I understand what it's like as a producer independent filmmaker um, we really we, we spend all the 
all the resources, financial resources, time, mm. bringing crews together and all that, then we shoot the movie, then we don't have the ability to, to generate revenue mm. through a cinema theoretical distribution, mm. you know, and uh, then we start relying on what platform, video on demand platform is going to take our project, mm. you understand me, you know, but I said no. Um, uh, let me extend this to independent filmmaking, you understand me, you know, oh, okay. so that they can have the this avenue. Mm. You know, yes, we start with three cinemas, you know, okay. but uh, three cinemas is okay for a start, so long as we have the numbers mm. and release our films, generate some revenue, go back to create job mm. for actors, yeah. for other people the in the film industry, yeah. you understand me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is where we need every other person in this film industry whether you're an actor yeah. an actress you are in the ga uh, yeah. you're a gaffer or you are an art director production designer yeah. or uh, a cinematographer yeah. we need you yeah. to embrace this because if we have this platform which we already have yeah. and we release our movies independent films yeah. and we have audience yeah. who come to see this movie it helps us to generate it's a revenue, revenue. Yeah. then we take this revenue and we go into the next project project you know? exactly. and guess what we're going to put on a uh, uh, casting call we're going to put on a uh, crew call and all that stuff and mm. we're going to hire you guys mm. and we'll have the financial resources to pay you well mm. you know so it's uh, it's a it's, 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 it's it boost, goes round boost the employment as it well boosts, we create employment mm. and mm. we as independent film makers we have this market we have it in our hands mm. we have our destiny in our hands mm. we don't need to rely on uh, mm. the likes of those big uh, yeah, cinemas, cinemas who rely on Hollywood alone oh, okay. uh, you know so we need everybody we need togetherness we need people to come and mm. support it so if you have an idea on how we can make this grow mm. uh, contact us at true sale distribution send us a message or true sale distribution at gmail.com send us a message send us an idea tell us what you can do how we can work together and make this work and make this grow yeah uh, extending this to independent films there are a lot of independent filmmakers mm -hmm. producers out there mm -hmm. who have their films and they cannot get into cinema cinema exactly i am talking from experience i'm a i'm, a, I'm an independent filmmaker i'm a producer i'm a director mm -hmm. i have short films and uh, there's nothing more uh, hurtful mm -hmm. when you cannot get your film into the cinema, cinema yeah. and you know you're lo you're stuck some yeah. films get just something just gets wasted you know yeah, but yeah. but because i am coming from that mindset mm. i'm coming from that angle mm. you know so mm. i can understand uh the fellow film producer mm -hmm. and you know so we can work together yeah, and yeah. try to make it so we have started this but we have started this mm. but we need you all to come together so that we can make this grow we can make this market big mm. huge and uh, it would be it would benefit everybody, everybody. Yeah. Um, what message do you have for a younger generation or a new film director or a new film producer out there well i would say um the industry is tough it's not easy uh, I would say uh, believe in what you do, don't give up hope, believe in your dream, um, be, be motivated, whatever motivates you, chase it. You will come across all, st all, all type of stumbling blocks, uh, there will be setbacks, there will be shortfalls, uh, people will, some people will tend to discourage you while some will encourage you, you know. Uh, never let those negative vibes put you down. Take them as a motivation. Mm. Um, because in the long run, uh, yeah, we don't know how long it will be, mm -hmm. you will smile. People will come, people will come around. Even those who, mm. who lack hope and faith in you will praise you. Uh, but don't let it get into your head. Mm. Keep walking. Mm. You know, I, I work very hard. I, my sights are getting bad because I stay too much yes. on the computer, working wow. at long hours every day. Uh, you know, so it's not easy, but you will, you will achieve it regardless. Mm -hmm.